Okay guys, welcome to 941 Fishing. Uh, my name is Patrick and today was my first video. Uh, we got a little excited. We tried to do some spear fishing. We tried to, uh, we fished some markers out in Tampa Bay and we snorkeled around. We had a, it's a pretty slow bite, but let's just hope the rain holds off. I'll see you guys after the video. Probably been trying to get bait for sorry about the audio quality it was raining so we didn't bring any of our uh we only brought our waterproof cases but we've been trying around the bay for bait and uh now we uh are what fifth or sixth bait spot drew fifth bait spot and we actually got some bait up in front of the boat we've been chilling for not even a minute and then so we're gonna It's enough to start our day. Whenever I see him and Drew moves, we're gonna take a throw. Typically when he throws a bunch of chum. So here we go. They're all very little today. We might be doing what we did the day we got some grouper. Actually, no, those are pretty decent sized. A lot of, a lot of pinfish though. Where's a bucket I can put them in? These are greenbacks. Those are some of the best bait you can use, if not the best. So you want to get these in the water quick because they're not very lively. They stay out for more than them minute they're most likely gonna die these will be chum these little tiny ones all the black stuff you're seeing on the boat those are all snails pretty good throw not the best but it was right over our chum alrighty y'all we are loaded up on some good old bait. Good old greeny. Oh, that's a croaker. But good old greeny backs. That live well is full too. And Patrick's got the spear gun ready. And we're going to go dive on this pole up here. And we're going to see if there's any sheep's head on it so that we can get a head start on some food. first fishing spot stopped to see if I could find any sheep's head on some pilings and uh, see if we can't get some snapper so uh, I'll get back to y'all when we get one So first fish of the day is a uh, nice mangrove. So uh, we're just gonna throw them somewhere temporary, which is right there. Get another bait in the water, see if we can't make it happen again. Okay, so I was just tossing around a little jig and this uh, Jack Reval just, just crushed it right at the top of the water. I was. Did you get that on video? And he's just digging right now, and nothing I can do. I had to back off the drag because uh, the line's all frayed up.
might be why the snapper turned off. There might be jacks here. So when you release a jack, try to football them head first. Not like that. That is the absolute opposite of what you want to do. That all in front of us is a school of mackerel tearing up a school of threadfin or greenbacks. So, here you go. Get situated. Right there, right there, they're blowing up everywhere. Uh, Jax. Oh my god. Dude. Just throw it. Uh. Alright, so. Oh, popping right there. Did y'all see that? Do that right in the center of that school and just start cranking. Oh, they're blowing up on it. Dude, they're just freaking everywhere. Oh, just. Turn, come on. Drew, try top water. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I came off, broke it. Pulled the hook. Oh! So that's what we're working with. Right next to the boat. They're just everywhere. Whatever. Dude, look at that. Look at that. He's tiny. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm just gonna crank him in. I'm gonna throw through that school. <laughs> Don't cut me off. These are fun size. So, okay. If you grab them by the gills, they'll stop. Just like that. So. You gotta be careful, they do have teeth. But if you grab them by the gills, they'll stop moving. Give it a whirl, go for it, Drew. I'm gonna tie something up and just try something. Patrick's diving down. He's got a gun with him, or a spear gun. And, um, then go right on this boat, circle around it, see if there's any fishes on there. That does not look good. Okay, so here we are back. We made it just barely. I'd like to introduce you to Captain Drew Brophy from uh, X Head Fishing Charters. Awesome guy, always gets us on fish. Uh, but it started pouring and pretty much it was just, it was pretty scary I'd say, you yeah, agree? Yeah, that, that was scary, not gonna lie. But we did get, 
Okay, but we did get two snappers, so we are going to do a catch, clean, and cook today. And uh, so this is like the exit of the fishing part, and I'll see you at the fillet table. All right, these are the snappers we got. <laughs> and we're gonna go fillet them, right? Woo. Okay, guys. So now that we got these snapper fillets, we're gonna we're gonna cook them up. See what a uh, chef Drew is gonna make for us today. So we're gonna bread our fish in organic protein powder. Nice. No, no, no. I, I'm thinking like we're gonna bread our fish in some chips today. What what kind of chips are you thinking? We should do two kinds, like barbecue and a ranch. Like do half barbecue and half like Doritos ranch. I think this will be enough, or we need two more packs. It won't go to waste. No waste. Take them off. Yep. Alrighty. Alright, so this is what we This is what we're doing with so far, you know? Alright, so we got the Doritos all crushed up in the fine dust. And then we got the Lay's barbecue all crushed up in the fine dust. Then we got egg wash with this egg, a little bit of milk, right? Yeah. And a little bit of seasonings in the egg wash itself. And then we got a little pan with just enough oil in there to cover the bottom. And then we're going to take our snappers. Throw them in. Throw them in the pot or the oil. And we're going to do like what tastes better, Lay's or Doritos? I don't know. No. Letting the oil warm up, and then we should be ready. Right, let's put some, put in egg wash. Let it soak in. Dude, that's a big fillet, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I actually catch good sized fish, Drew. <laughs> Roast. Doesn't that look appetizing? Not really, to be honest. No, not at all. <laughs> Alright. Let you know when the oil's hot. Alright, we're gonna do the Doritos first. I missed the bag completely. Nice. That looks pretty tasty. You ready to put them in the oil? <laughs> uh, yeah. You want to do Doritos first? Yeah, we'll do Doritos first. Wow! Wow! You want to put it Yeah. Uh, so I was thinking about a side for this meal. There's got some Doritos and. Nice barbecue chips. <laughs> nice. That looks really good. Alright, I'll let you know when it's done cooking. They're looking crispy. It may have been overcooked a little bit, but don't worry about it. Don't worry, we're professionals. It's actually the first time I've ever cooked. Dilly dilly. I got the highest hopes for this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. As in like taste, right? Yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay. Right, I think they're done. Mm. Oh, this is gonna fall apart. Can you give me a second fork? Nice. Now for the lays. Whoa, whoa, look at that. That looks very interesting. The 
thing about inventing this thing called like like fried potatoes and calling chips or something. <laughs> What's interesting with the Lay's ones, when we flipped them, like all the breading came off. All right, so which one do you which one do you guys think will taste the best? This is a. I'll tell you my opinion, but you're gonna have to try it for yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna cook this fish like medium. Because it's snapper and I'd eat it raw if I could. <laughs> Five second rule. And it's going in boiling oil. Get over yourselves. <laughs> Grab the plate. Hold on. Bueno. Nice. Delicious. Okay, so. This is the barbecue, the Lay's barbecue, and this is the Doritos. Just feeling it, this def the Doritos definitely feel a lot more crispy. So, um, start out with the barbecue because I'm hoping the best of it. Okay, so the barbecue is pretty good. You could actually taste the chips, but I would like it to be a little bit more crunchy and that more of it would stay on the fish. Now for the Doritos. This is the one I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so for the Doritos, definitely it's a lot more crispy. You really don't taste much of the ranch. It's mostly uh, just the, the crunch, so. If you're gonna try these, I would definitely recommend doing the Doritos and uh, season the fish just a little bit. But y'all have a nice day. Thanks for watching.